How to Start ECU Cloning for New Beginners Rev up your engines and buckle in, because we're about to embark on a wild ride through the world of car repairs. From fixing fender benders to tackling tricky transmissions, our channel is your one-stop destination for all things automotive adventure. But hey, before we pop the hood and dive into the grease and gears, make sure to slam that subscribe button below. Trust me, you'll want to be along for this hilarious and heartwarming ride. ECU, Engine Control Unit, cloning is simply transferring the ECU file from one ECU to another, so that the new ECU operates similarly to the original one. It can be a useful tool for vehicle owners and mechanics in certain situations, whether it's replacing a damaged ECU, upgrading to a newer version of the software, or customizing the engine management system, saving cost, or using a preferred brand of ECU, etc. So how to get started for beginners who are interested in ECU cloning? Which ECU chip tuning tool is good to choose? Here are some suggestions below. 1. Learn the basics of ECU cloning. Start by understanding what an ECU is, how it works, and how it affects your engine's performance. There are many online resources you can search to learn the basics of ECU cloning. 2. Get right ECU tools. You'll need a laptop, an ECU programmer with software. There are many options available, find the right ECU tool depending on your needs and budget. Here are common tools in the market. Original. Alien Tech Kess V3. CGFC 200. Obstar DC 706. Launch X431 ECU and TCU Programmer. Launch X 431X Prog 3 PC Adapter. Zorse Multiprog. Clone. KES V2. Tag. MPPS. Fox Flash. PCM Flash. KT200. KTM Flash. FGTech V54. It is advisable to use the original tool to ensure non infringement quality assurance, and tech support. 3. Join a community. There are many online forums and communities dedicated to ECU cloning. It's a great way to join some communities to learn from others, get advice, and stay up to date on the latest developments in the field. It's also recommended to follow the official or your dealer's social platforms like website, official blogs, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, etc. They will launch the related user manual, tutorial, customer feedback and update info, etc. there. 4. Start small. As a beginner, it's important to start with simple modifications and work your way up. Make small changes to your ECU settings and see how they affect your engine's performance. As you become more experienced, you can gradually increase the complexity of your modifications. ECU cloning process. Step 1. Read the original ECU. Use a professional ECU programmer to read the original data stored on the ECU. Step 2. Save the original ECU's data. Save the original ECU to a computer or other storage device. This is known as dumping the original ECU. Step 3. Prepare the replacement ECU. Prepare a replacement ECU to receive the data from the original ECU for the cloning process. This may involve wiping any existing data from the replacement ECU or making any necessary hardware modifications. Step 4. Write the original ECU's data to the replacement ECU. Write the data from the original ECU to the replacement ECU. This process is known as flashing the replacement ECU. Step 5. Verify the replacement ECU. The replacement ECU is then connected to a diagnostic scanner and the software and data on the replacement ECU are verified to ensure that it matches that of the original ECU. Step 6. Install the replacement ECU. After cloning, install the replacement ECU in the vehicle and connect it to the engine management system. It is thoroughly checked to ensure that everything is working correctly and is optimized to the vehicle's requirements. In summary. Regulations, it's crucial to understand that ECU cloning is subject to strict regulations in many countries, including the United States, Canada, 
and the European Union. Warranty While ECU cloning is permitted in Australia, it's important to note that for certain vehicle manufacturers, it may void the vehicle's warranty. Professional assistance Additionally, if not performed correctly, ECU cloning can lead to serious issues with engine performance, emissions, and safety. Therefore, it's highly recommended to refrain from attempting ECU cloning without access to the appropriate tools, equipment, and professional assistance from an ECU cloning expert. Well, grease monkeys and gearheads, we've reached the end of another epic repair journey together. From the laughter-filled mishaps to the heartwarming moments of triumph, we've shared it all. But fear not, fellow car enthusiasts, the fun doesn't have to stop here. Keep the wrenches turning and the engines roaring by subscribing to our channel. Let's continue this automotive adventure together, one repair at a time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because we've got plenty more fixes and giggles in store for you.